shoop de bop boop bop bop wow Hello there internet! This shirt is just a shirt, but I'm wearing something under it, a shirt under it, like it's a sweater, but then you can see stuff, and it's just... I don't know how it works out yet, exactly. So in my luxury of reading video, I made a comment about how I should tell you about how I shop for books at some point, but the way I said the comment made it seem like it was some long, crazy, intricate backstory, when really it's not, but I'm still gonna make a video about it, because someone said they would like to see that. Thanks. So I'm gonna do that. Simply put though, I cover shop. So yeah, sometimes somebody will be like, you should get this book, or I like this book, and I'll be like, great, let me try it out, and I'll buy it. That's what actually happened with Night Circus. I think it was Carrie Hope Fletcher talked about how she really liked that book, and I was like, seems kind of cool, let me buy it, and I did, and oh my god, like I've said before, that was amazing. Like, sometimes that whole thing happens. Sometimes. But most of the time, I cover shop. So I'll just be walking down, I'll see maybe the side of a book. Okay, so this one. This is very bright, it's very bright here. Nora and Kettle, which I finished by the way, and it was beautiful. But okay, so say I just see the side, which chances are I don't normally, they have like one book sitting like that on bookshelves, and then they have sides, but okay. If I just see the side, I would have picked this up. I, I feel like you can't see it at all. It's got this kind of like Great Gatsby kind of like font. You can see it on the front. Anytime I can use this kind of font, I'm all about it. Okay, so that would have drawn my attention anyway. I pick it up though, and if the cover looks interesting, I read the back. I don't just buy a book because it looks pretty, I read the back to see if I would be interested in it. If I'm not interested in it, I'm not gonna buy it. But if the cover is beautiful, I'm gonna look a little bit more into it. And then there are some books for like authors, like Carrie Hill Fletcher. I didn't buy her book because of the cover, I bought her book because it's her. And it was great. So that worked out for me. It's kind of a funny story. Really cool cover. That's why I picked it up. Tape. That's got an interesting kind of cover. Also, it's bright yellow, and I freaking love yellow stuff. I actually picked up this copy of The Little Prince because it was gold, and I was like, that sounds cool. Now it's one of my favorite books. Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. Beautiful book. That's literally the story as to how I shop for books. I cover shop. Um, I'm really bad at buying books because I buy too many. I eventually made myself a, a rule that I could only spend either $30 or three books. That's a rule I made. And then I broke that rule one time. What did I buy? I broke this rule to buy a specific amount of books. I broke the $30 three book rule to buy these four books, so I, I put it at four. But I really wanted this one for the story, I really wanted this one for the story, I really wanted this one for the story. I haven't read this one though, because like a week or so after I bought this, The Body in the Woods, something happened and I got scared and I didn't want to, I did not want to try reading that, so I haven't worked up the courage yet to get there. But then this book is gay. And before we went to the store, I had told John that he, I couldn't buy, I told him this rule. And so I had these four books in my hand, and he said, no, you need to put one back. And I said, no, I don't. He said, you need to put one back. And I said, if I'm putting one back, I'm putting back this book is gay, and I don't want to do that, and you don't want to make me do that. So I bought four. So that's the story of how I buy my books. I hope you enjoyed that, and if it was as interesting as you thought it might be. Sorry if it wasn't, but that's how I buy my books. How do you buy your books? Do you even look at the cover? Do you read the description only? Do you read the last page? I know people who do that. Ugh. Heathens. Let me know. I'm gonna go, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. 50s, kind of great. 50s and Great Gatsby? That's not. That's 20s. Ain't it, Abby? And then, look, there she goes, that girl is so peculiar. I wonder if she's feeling well. What would they say about me? What would they say, not even about me, I'm not even like as crazy as a book, book person as other people. What would they say about booktube? Mmm. Ta-ta!